Dustin Hawkins right, 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 right again. Dustin Hawkins right again. Good day to you. It is I, Justin Hawkins. This is Justin Hawkins Rides Again, my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell for the notifications. You don't want to miss anything. Um, you'll recognise that I did my old, 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 old theme tune, um, <laughs> which sounds exactly like a, a Led Zeppelin song. Why did he do that? You're probably asking yourself. Well, I tell thee. Because uh, I'm talking about Led Zeppelin today. I made a little playlist for you. I called the playlist uh, Less Obvious Zepp because I think, you know, everyone's got their favourite Led Zeppelin songs and whilst Led Zeppelin aren't a band that did a lot of singles, I think they did one single and absolutely hated the experience so they're, they're like an albums group but, you know, there are certain favourites that emerge as the, as the, the sort of obvious touchstones within their catalogue and um, so I've chosen some that are just, just a little bit off that I suppose. Um, let's have some facts about Led Zeppelin first. Uh, formed in London in 1968, they consisted of vocalist Robert Plant, uh, guitarist Jimmy Page, bassist keyboardist John Paul Jones and drummer John Bonham. Originally named the New Yardbirds, Led Zeppelin signed a deal with Atlantic Records, cracking label, I was signed to Atlantic, love them, um, that gave them considerable artistic freedom. They have nine albums. Uh, they're one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Their total record sales are estimated to be between 200 and 300 million units worldwide. And that's probably just albums, isn't it? Well, Jimmy Page uh, wrote most of Led Zeppelin's music, particularly early in their career, while Robert Plant wrote most of the lyrics. The group disbanded following uh, John Bonham's death in 1980. Led Zeppelin have been credited with a major impact on the nature of the music business, particularly in the development of album-orientated rock, AOR, uh, and stadium rock. Yeah, they're, they're sort of like the, the original albums band, aren't they? I can you imagine doing that, just like taking over the world without actually doing singles. It's incredible. Really inspiring. Uh, Led Zeppelin remain one of the most bootlegged artists in the history of rock music. But you'll never hear them complaining about that. They just, they just get on with it. So uh, I've chosen a few from the first, uh, from, the, from the eponymous Led Zeppelin album, from Led Zeppelin 2, from Led Zeppelin 3, and a little bit from Led Zeppelin 4. Just two songs off each that aren't, you know, the really, really obvious ones. So if you look at Led Zeppelin, the eponymous first record, uh, I suppose the obvious ones on there would be Days to Confused. Boom, boom. How's it going? Oh, that was perfectly in tune. Um, or you would have communication breakdown. Um, yeah, I think these are the obvious ones on there. Good times, bad times is another great one. In tune again. Yeah, that would be an obvious one, but uh, I chose, uh, I think I chose Your Time Is Gonna Come, because I love this uh, keyboard intro. Uh, if I had my keyboard here, I'd show you how to play it. It's, it's really deceptively easy and fun to do. You look for me, baby. I'll be gone. Your time is gonna come. Yeah, it's a great song. You'll love it. Um, obviously, most people who are familiar with Led Zeppelin will, will know these songs inside out. This is intended as a as an introduction for folk who are perhaps a bit daunted <coughs> by the idea of familiarising themselves with a catalogue that. <coughs> <coughs> they probably think they really ought to know by now. These are some gateway deeper cuts, I think. Uh, and then I put, oh yeah, I put Babe, I'm going to leave you. Baby, baby, I'm going to leave you. <coughs> He's going to leave when the summer comes along. I'm not sure why he chooses to do that in the summer. I suppose the, the, the impact of a blow, an emotional blow like that would be lessened by the, the you know, the sunny days and the, 
the bees and the butterflies all frolicking. <clears throat> I'm not sure. He likes talking about seasons anyway. Um, so back to my playlist. Then I went to our the second, uh, you know, Led Zeppelin 2. Oh, my God. I chose my two favourite songs from um, Led Zeppelin 2. Living, Loving, Made. With a purple umbrella in a fifth cent hand. That's a great riff. <laughs> Um, and then Ramble On, which always reminds me of uh, driving around um, Los Angeles in a hired open top sporting car on the first time you ever went to America. How wonderful an experience. And this is the perfect soundtrack for it. Ramble On. Another great record. Uh, maybe Ramble On's a little bit more obvious. Uh, maybe Living Loving Made is a bit obvious. Maybe there's just too many great songs for it not to be obvious, but I'm trying to do the deeper cuts nonetheless. Um, then on Led Zeppelin 3. Oh, God, you could do anything on that record, but I chose Gallows Pole. It's a bit like one of those folk songs where, or, or like a nursery rhyme or something, where various different people come along to try and save uh, the, the narrator from being hung. And um, so I think his sister comes, first of all. Um, or his friends come, or, but you know they're supposed to bring money to to, to the hangman is can be bribed uh, not to kill him, I think. And then um, in the end, I think he, the hangman runs off with his sister, and everyone lives happily ever after, you know, and die of natural causes. I think I don't know. I like Tangerine as well from that record, so I put that on this playlist. Okay, the guitars are a bit out of tune on the record, believe it or not. I like this song because it's easy to play. Actually, no, what I like about Tangerine isn't the fact that it's easy to play because it's not, none of it is. Um, but what it's, what's great about it is that the recording, they've paid no attention to how in tune the vocals are. It sounds like the, it's the first time any of them have ever, ever heard it, let alone sung it. It's really, really ropey, but it still works somehow. It's just, it's such a, a beautiful song that even if they're singing it horribly, it's just wonderful. Um, and then I went to um, Led Zeppelin 4. And I chose Misty Mountain Hop. I'm not sure why I put that on there. I don't think it is in any way um, obscure. But as I said before, nothing is on those first four records, and I'll probably include Houses of the Holy and Physical Graffiti on that as well. But it's just such a simple riff, really fun to listen to. I think it's probably played on a Fender Rhodes or a Wurlitzer or something like that. It's lovely stuff. Um, and then I put Going to California. The sky was great, what it had tomorrow, could ever follow today. Maybe I'll put that on there because I am going to California one day. I've promised myself I, I deserve it. Maybe I'll see you there. Anyway, Led Zeppelin are great. They might be the greatest. Justin Walker's right again. And I hope you enjoy the playlist. The link to it's in the description. Again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications, and uh, watch one of these two videos. Cheers!